Welcome to the studios of CMU Public Television. Tonight, a Red Division first round game between North Branch and Clio. Next on Quiz Central. Quiz Central is brought to you in part by the CMU Bookstore. Your source for maroon and gold pride is the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, and maroon and gold memories can be found at the CMU Bookstore. If it's textbooks you need, you'll find them new and used. If you're looking for technology, the CMU Bookstore's Microchips is an Apple authorized dealer. The CMU Bookstore, on campus in the University Center and online at cmubookstore.com. And by the Michigan Education Association and its 150,000 members, advocating for a world-class public education that ensures a bright future for Michigan students and economy. Online at mea.org. And on the buzzers, with Central begins now. Hudson. St. Petersburg. Gondola. Egypt. Delaware, Christmas Carol. Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome on into Quiz Central. Great to have you along here tonight as we roll along in the Red Division, our large school division. Tonight, we welcome in North Branch and Clio. One of these two teams will move along in their quest to become the ultimate Season 8 Quiz Central Grand Champion. Who will it be? Well, we'll find out shortly. We did start with 48 teams. We divided them into four separate 12-team divisions based on the size of the schools. Red, white, blue, and gold divisions each crown a champion. The four members of those four division championship teams each receive a $2,500 one-year scholarship to Central Michigan University. Plus, we'll be giving away four textbook scholarships to four lucky Quiz Central seniors, courtesy of the CMU Bookstore. Red Division, North Branch, and Clio trying to move along in our tournament. And we're going to get it started right now. The opening round, Maroon and Gold Rush, two-minute rapid-fire round. First player to signal gets a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers will allow the opposing team to answer the question. No consulting among team members in round number one. And correct answers are all worth 10 points apiece. All right, everybody ready to go? Put your hands on the buzzers. We put two minutes on the clock. Quiz Central begins now. What structure attaching the plantaris and calf muscles to the heel bone is the thickest and strongest human tendon? North Branch, Amanda. Achilles. Yes, the Achilles tendon is right. North Branch on the board first. In 1914, what founder of the Dearborn Independent paid a stunning $5 per day to his workers? Clio Alec. Henry Ford. Yes, Henry Ford is right, and Clio's on the board. What city? Home to the Milad Tower and Azadi Square was the site of a 1979 to 1981 hostage crisis where 52 Americans were held in the capital of Iran. Clio Jacob. Tehran. Yeah, Tehran is the right one. A mandate that pensions be funded 75 years in advance is part of the financial problems of what government service? United Clio States Mitchell. Post United States Postal Office. Yeah, that's absolutely right. What author of The Mysterious Stranger described an escaped slave and a teenage vagabond rafting down the Mississippi River, Clio Jacob? Mark Twain. Yeah, Mark Twain's the right one. A ritual of throwing treasure into Colombia's Lake Guatavita supposedly inspired Spanish conquistadors to look for what fictional kingdom of gold? Clio Jacob. Desperado? No, not the right one. North Branch, I've read the entire question. North Branch, Amanda. El Dorado? Yes, El Dorado is the right one. What particles interact via the gluon-mediated strong force, form mesons with their antiparticles, and have six flavors, including top? Clio, Quirks. Corey. Quark. Yes, quark is right. In January 2012, New Zealand police raided the home of what founder of Mega Upload, who changed his last name, Schmitz, to sound like an internet site? No answer? Next question. What? And we won't get to that next question because the round has come to an end. 
All right, it is Clio 50, North Branch 20 after the opening round. Didn't miss many. As a matter of fact, the only one we did not know was that last one where this uh, gentleman changed his last name from Schmitz to Kim.com. Hmm. <laughs> All right, time to take a little bit of a breather and uh, introduce both teams here tonight in this red division opening round game. And we will start off with North Branch High School. Kiplin, welcome to Quiz Central. Thanks. I'm uh, Kiplin Caldwell. I'm uh, a junior in North Branch and involved in creative writing and NHS. Hi, I'm Emily Anderson. I'm also a junior and I'm in the band and on the student council. Hi, I'm Cody Howe. I'm a junior and I'm the drum major at North Branch High School. Hi, I'm Amanda Hardwick. I'm a senior and I'm a member of Cross Country, National Honor Society and Friends of Rachel Club. And North Branch is coached by Katie Wagner and Ruth Stover-Lang and the alternate is Ben Robinson. We welcome North Branch High School. And their opponents come to us from Clio High School. Corey, welcome. Hello, my name is Corey. I'm a senior, and I like science, math, and reading. Hi, I'm Mitchell. I'm a senior, and I enjoy science, math, and cross country. I'm Jacob. I'm a senior, and I enjoy classic literature and golf. Hi, I'm Alec. I'm a senior, and I'm in cross country and golf. And Clio is coached by William Schatz, and the alternates are Caitlin Kirchner and Damian Forsland. We welcome Clio High School. All right, one round in the books. Time for us to move to round two here tonight on Quiz Central. It is the kickoff round. We'll kick it off with a combination of toss-up and bonus questions. I'll ask one toss-up with the team answering correctly getting 10 points. After a correct answer, that team will be asked up to three bonus questions worth 10 points apiece. Consulting among team members is allowed only on the bonus questions, not on the original toss-up. And once a team incorrectly answers a bonus, we'll go back to a toss-up for both teams. So, everybody get your buzzers ready. A toss-up question number one. The plus one oxidation state of this metal is found only in a di diatomic cation. This element, the first with a completely filled 6D subshell, was also the first in which superconductivity was observed. Clio, Alec. Sodium. Not the right one. I'll finish for someone on North Branch's squad. Name this heavy metal used in barometers that was once called quicksilver. North Branch, Cody. Mercury. Yeah, Mercury is the right one. Able to jump in there, get the points. 10 points for North Branch. Bonus questions now. No buzzers needed. You can confer. Cody, I'll take the answers from you. Give these answers related to the poem Mending Wall. Mending Wall is by this American poet of stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Robert Frost. Yeah, Frost is the right one. Second bonus for you. The poem closes by asserting that what objects make good neighbors? Fences. Fences? Yeah, fences is right and a chance to sweep. Quote the eight word first line of the poem that begins with something. Cody, need an answer from you. None. <laughs> Don't have one. It's something there is that doesn't love a wall. And we are tied at 50-50. Time for a toss-up question. Both teams, get your buzzers ready. The vine Margravia avenia has dish-shaped leaves to attract pollinators from this order. About one quarter of them eat fruit, but most are insectivores. The order Chiroptera contains what animals that navigate using Echo North Branch Amanda? Bats. Yeah, bats is right, and whose species include fruit and vampire. Nicely done. Ten points for North Branch. Bonus questions. No buzzers needed. You can confer. Cody, I'll take the answers from you. Jimmy Olsen and Lois Lane are friends of a superhero born on Krypton. Name that man of steel. Superman. Yes, it's not me, it is Superman. That's correct. <laughs> Second bonus for you. Superman's most common foe is this wealthy scientist who was once elected president. Lex Luthor. Yeah, right? Lex Luthor is right in a chance to sweep. This villain is something like a moral mirror image of Superman, exactly opposite how Superman would. Bizarro? Yes, Bizarro is right, and you've been reading too many comic books. A sweep <laughs> of the bonus and the lead for North Branch, and the bell signals the end of the round. North Branch 90, Clio 50. We're going to take a time out. When we come back, it's perfect 10 time right after this. 
places look everywhere find stuff it's fun you have to bring your safari cameras to take pictures of the safari things you need to learn how to explore the world Welcome back to Quiz Central, Red Division, first round game. Next time on the show, we stick in the Red Division. Another first round game as Linden takes on Mount Pleasant. Hope you'll join us for that one. Right now, it's 90 to 50, North Branch leading Clio as we head into our third round. It's called the Perfect 10. It's a 60 second round. Each team will have a separate set of 10 questions from their choice of three categories. Teams can either answer or pass a question in order to answer as many of the 10 questions as uh, impossible in 60 seconds. The opposing team will have, then have 30 seconds to answer any that were passed and correctly answered, questions we didn't get to. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Teams you can consult. No buzzers are needed. The team that is trailing gets the first choice of the clues to the categories. Clio, that would be you, and the clues tonight are row, row, row your boat, why, oh, why can't I? Or I write the songs, I write the songs. We'll go with row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. The category is rivers of the world. You better Name the longest rivers on which these cities lie. Again, rivers of the world. Name the longest rivers on which these cities lie. 60 seconds on the Clio clock. Cairo. Nile? Yeah, Nile's right. Omaha. Missouri. Missouri? Yes, Missouri's correct. Paris. I defer to Jacob. Sen. Yes, the Sen is right. Lisbon. Danube. Florence. Pass. Budapest. The, the, the noob. The noob? No, that's not right. Washington, D.C. The Potomac. Potomac? Yeah, the Potomac's correct. London. The Times. The Times? Yes, the Thames is right. Manus. Pass. Pass. Hamburg. The noob. The noob? No, that's not right. And that's all ten. Got half of them. Five correct rivers. It does leave five for North Branch, though, to try to steal. Again, the category North Branch is rivers of the world. Name the longest rivers on which these cities lie. 30 seconds on the North Branch clock. Lisbon. Pass. Florence. Pass. Budapest. Euphrates? No, that's not right. Manus. Pass. Hamburg. Something German. Yeah. Something German. I don't know where. Pass. And that's all. Not able to steal any of those. The rivers got you a little bit. The uh, questions uh, that we didn't get Lisbon is on the Tagus River. Florence is on the Arno. Budapest on the Danube. Manus is on the Amazon. And Hamburg is on the Elba. Those are the five that we did not get. All right, it is 100 to 90, Clio leading North Branch by 10. North Branch, two remaining categories for you to choose from. They are, why, oh, why can't I? Or I write the songs, I write the songs. We'll go with why, oh, why can't I? Why, oh, why can't I? The category is words with two whys. Give these words or titles that contain the letter Y twice. All right? 60 seconds on the North Branch clock. Condition of not having revealed one's name. Anonymous. 
No, that is not right. A Homeric epic. The Odyssey. Yes, Odyssey's right. The P in PVC plastic. Pass. Two words with the same meaning. A synonym. Synonym? Yes, that's right. Long orchestral work like Mozart's Jupiter. Symphony? Yes, symphony's correct. Set of monarchs from the same family or house. Dynasty? Yeah, that's right. Study of word origins. Etymology? That's correct. Red blood cell. Pass. The ethnicity of Carmen from Bizet's opera. Pass. Hatred, oh, not able to get that one in. You're able to get uh, half of those right. Five correct answers, 50 points. Clio, got five out there for you to try to steal. Again, the category is words with two Ys. Give these words or titles that contain the letter Y twice. 30 seconds on the Clio clock. Condition of not having revealed one's name. Anonymity? Yes, that is correct. The P in PVC plastic. Polly? That is not right. Red blood cell. Pass. The ethnicity of Carmen from Bizet's opera. Byzantine. Byzantine? Nope, that's not right. Hatred or distrust of women. Oh, God. It's uh, misogyny. Misogyny? Yes, that is correct. And that is all five. Stole two of those. And it does leave three that we did not get. North Branch leading by 20, 140 to 120. The questions we missed, the P in PVC plastic is polyvinyl. Needed that second Y in there. Needed the two Ys. Uh, erythrocyte is a red blood cell. The ethnicity of Carmen is a gypsy. All right, 140, 120. North Branch on top. This is a good, close game. And it's time for us to move into our fourth round here tonight. And as we head into our fourth round, it is home stretch time. I'll have more toss-up questions, followed by bonus questions for the team that answers the toss-up correctly. All correct answers are worth 10 points apiece. Buzzers ready. Very important round. Here we go. Sackett's Harbor on this lake was once home to a U.S. naval shipyard. It is also the site of Amherst Island near Kingston, but that island is not one of its thousand islands. The Niagara River flows into what great lake? Clio Jacob. Ontario. Yes, Ontario is the right one. Named for the Canadian province containing Toronto. Grabbed it. Nice job. Ten points. Bonus questions. No buzzers needed. You can confer, Mitchell, the answers from you. Give the following about the so-called five civilized tribes of Native Americans. This trail was the harsh journey by which southeastern tribes were forcibly removed to Indian territory in the west. Trail of Tears? Yeah. Uh, trail of Tears. That is correct. And a second bonus for you. The Trail of Tears is primarily associated with this tribe for which Sequoia developed an alphabet. It's the Cherokee. The Cherokee? Yes, the Cherokee is right and a chance to sweep. The tribes were moved to Indian Territory that became part of this present-day state in 1890. Oklahoma? Yes, in a sweep and at a great time for Clio. Clio now leads by 20, 160, 140. Toss-up question, both teams. An observation about these objects' entropy inspired the holographic principle. The no-hair theorem states they have only charge, mass, and angular momentum. The Schwarzschild radius is the size of what kind of massive collapsed star from which not even light can escape? Black hole. Clio, Corey. Black hole. Yes, black hole is right, and you beat a lot of people to the buzzer. You used all the information. Ten points. Bonus questions now. No buzzers needed. The opera Rigoletto is by the same composer as La Traviata. Name that Italian. Amadeus. <laughs> I defer to defer Jacob. To Jacob? Uh, Amadeus. <laughs> nope, not the right one. It's Verdi. Giuseppe Verdi is the correct answer. Clio 170, North Branch 140. 
toss-up question both teams. Timothy Ruggles chaired meetings concerning this law in Federal Hall that produced the Declaration of Rights and Grievances. It was barely enforced and repealed a year later. Name the 1765 Act requiring colonial documents to be printed on North Branch Emily. The Stamp Act? Yes, the Stamp Act is right. Printed on official paper taxed by Britain. Ten points for North Branch. Bonus questions. No buzzers needed. You can confer. Name these Atlantic Ocean Island groups. This group, 67 miles west of Morocco, is an autonomous region of Spain. They are named for the Latin word for dogs, not small yellow birds. Canary Islands. Yeah, the Canary Islands is right. Second bonus for you. This group, also called the Summers Isles, lies southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. It includes the towns of Hamilton and St. George. Cody, I need an answer from you. Uh, no answer. All right, it's Bermuda. So nothing on the second of the bonuses. Clio. We'll go to the final round with a 10-point lead. It's Clio 170, North Branch 160. We'll take this final timeout and come back with the final countdown right after this. I could be anything I want to be. I want to see how the moon looks like a big circle. Go to Saturn and Venus. Mercury and Neptune, Pluto. You gotta read and study and work hard. I'm gonna keep learning. The whole Earth is big. Like, go to different places, look everywhere, find stuff. It's fun. You have to bring your safari cameras to take pictures of the safari things. You need to learn how to explore the world. And welcome back. Good game here. This one has been tight from the get-go. Red Division, opening round game. One of these two teams will move along here on Quiz Central. Who will it be? We'll find out in two minutes. Time for the final countdown here tonight. Final countdown is a two-minute rapid-fire round. First player to signal gets a chance to answer the question. Any wrong answers will allow the opposing team to answer the question. No consulting among team members in the final countdown. Correct answers are worth 10 points apiece. All right, Clio with a 10-point lead Heading into this final countdown. Good luck, both teams. Two minutes on the clock. Final countdown begins now. What Big Ten school, attended by Jared Jeffries and Eric Gordon, is a five time. Clio Alec. Indiana. Yes, Indiana is right. Great House is the literal translation of what title first held by Narmer and later used by Ramses the Great and other rulers of ancient Egypt? North Branch, Amanda. Pharaoh. Yeah, Pharaoh's correct. Which painter whose boy with a pipe was sold for $104 million in 2004 created Maya with Dahl, Three Musicians, and the anti-war Guernica? No answer. Next question. A housekeeper named Nellie Dean tells Mr. Lockwood the central story of what novel featuring Catherine Earnshaw and Heathcliff by M North Branch Amanda. Wuthering Heights. Yes, that is right, and we are tied. What president signed the Smoot-Hawley Tariff, repressed the Bonus Army, saw the beginning of the Great Depression? Hoover. Clio Jacob. Hoover. Yes, Hoover's right. Clio leads by 10. Which character, whose wrath tastes like ice cream in Atlantis, has a computer wife named Karen? North Branch Kiplin. Uh, Plankton. Yes, Plankton is right. We're tied again. Which author wrote about Pierre Bezikoff and Natasha Rostova in one novel and about the suicidal lover of Count Alexei Vronsky in Anna Karenina? Clio Jacob. Dostoevsky. No, that is not right. North Branch, I've read the entire question. If one of you can answer. North Branch, Amanda. Tolstoy. Yes, Tolstoy is right. North Branch leads by 10. 
What pseudonym used by Al Capone's employer Frankie is the last name of combination lock inventor Linus and Ivy League school namesake Elihu? Clio and Alec. Brown? No, that's not right. North Branch, I've read the entire question. No, no answer. Next question. A great time is up. And North Branch wins by 10, 200 to 190. A round of applause for both teams. In that final round, the painter we did not know was Picasso. <laughs> Yale is the pseudonym used by Al Capone's employer, Frankie. And that was the only two questions that we missed. North Branch, congratulations. You will move on by the thinnest of margins. And Clio, again, tough one, went right down to the wire here tonight. And for you who are seniors, best of luck in your future endeavors. And for you underclassmen, we hope to see you back here again next time on Quiz Central. That's going to do it for us. Join us again next time, another Red Division first round game, Mount Pleasant, taking on Linden. See you next time on Quiz Central. Good night, everybody. Quiz Central is brought to you in part by the CMU Bookstore. Your source for maroon and gold pride is the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, and maroon and gold memories can be found at the CMU Bookstore. If it's textbooks you need, you'll find them new and used. If you're looking for technology, the CMU Bookstore's Microchips is an Apple authorized dealer. The CMU Bookstore, on campus in the University Center and online at cmubookstore.com.